नमस्कार पुनर एट नतुन भिडिओ लगे स्वागत जानसो अपने चाहे तपन शैकियार सृष्टि साधना The human elephant conflict unfortunately increasing. The human elephant conflict issues are increasing in recent days in Assam. In one hand, the elephants that comes from the forest towards the villages in search of food are destroying their fields and creating panic situation for the common people. Likewise on the other hand the elephants habitat in the forest is shrinking for the elephants In the British period around 1 lakhs 12000 elephants were there in Assam But nowadays only 6000 elephants lived in Assam On this sensitive issue today, we are going to discuss a few important things with Brigitte Uttar Karnetsky, a prominent conservationist, filmmaker, and wildlife lover from Switzerland. Uh, Brigitte is with us online, and we are going to talk with her directly. Hello and welcome, Brigitte. Yes, hello. Namaste, namaskar to everyone. You have been working <clears throat> as a conservationist and a filmmaker uh, yes. for elephants from a long time, and you uh, have came to Assam uh, for the same purpose uh, several times. So, how do you see the human-elephant conflict issue uh, here in Assam? The human-elephant conflict issues are unfortunately increasing, especially the young people must be educated to not. chase the elephants they are doing this to an unbearable extent with horns trumpets burning spears or cells like you call it bolums etc creating an enormous disturbance for the animals i mean they're making a noise which is beyond belief so the elephants split into herds scatter all over the place and barely find trees to take rest and they have no food during the entire day uh so for the whole day they wait in the plantations on the basically tea plantations on the few trees left which was their former ter- territory um and they wait until they can maintain to go and enter the crop field in the night so here comes the conflict okay you have talked about the issue Uh, now what could be mitigation solution of this issue uh, on your views uh, what can we do to mitigate human elephant conflict uh, in this area yeah mitigational issues are certainly many but few which are very obvious come to my mind and that is um, yes there are very good things happening at the same time Uh, we have some 6000 elephants in assam and some 30 plus million people so you can imagine the scale is completely uneven what we need here are educational squad teams to educate the people to not chase the elephants and teach them serious elephant behavior they don't know about anything about their animals they need to understand the animal as they would be themselves by this i mean they need to put themselves into the mind of an elephant to understand their need as if those needs would be their own needs hmm? secondly let them peacefully pass through the tea plantation um and thirdly provide a piece of land 
for them adjoining the forest where they can peacefully feed on and return back to their forest. As long there is an existing forest for them, because as we say and see everywhere, the forests are shrinking drastically. So, um, you know, the Hatibondu Fraternity is working on these issues with huge success. There are no incidents reported in the recent three years where they have set up plantations for the elephants. And they're working basically day and night together with the villagers, in collaboration with the villagers. And it's just a happy, happy, very, very happy thing what is going on there. This project needs all of our support and assistance. And villagers in the Carvey Hills were happily collaborating, as I just mentioned. They are really great people. So furthermore, on this issue, corridors must be strictly protected and those pathways of corridors which are not established yet must become legally notified. We do have some more on the list to be included. The reserved and propor proposed forest areas must be strictly prohibited, controlled and protected also protected from illegal constructions, like in industrial plants. And um, encroachers, mining companies and other illegal activities must be strictly prosecuted. prosecuted. There's no way around it. Yes. Okay, do you think that the Forest Department and the Government of Assam is taking adequate measures to address the issues related human elephant conflict would you like to give any suggestions to them see the simple answer is if the government would adequately react and be active and controlling and supporting we definitely would have this would not have these problems i guess i hope that the government of assam is aware of this but in terms of taking adequate measures, unfortunately, according to my knowledge, um, they collaborate with the coal mining and stone crusher, oil or gas companies, be it Nomaliga Refinery Limited, be it Azure Power 40 Private Limited or other, to increase all the economy by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's goals. They do not collaborate with the elephants, and that's what they should do. All will fall back on us with increasing pandemics, climate change due to deforestation, killing of animals, etc., etc., deaths and general health conditions lacking. All this is set up illegally, so with the knowledge of the government and other officials. I can only appeal to their hearts to stop this ruthless exploitation of our land. You guys, you cannot take it into your grave. It will be for the next future generations. And if we keep going like this, why set up people in the world? There's no point. Absolutely no point. That it is completely not uh, understood enough. So the suggestion would be under the eye of the world to set up an example for peaceful coexistence. Based on love and food for everyone, we would be so proud of Assam and its people. As per government report, the forest area is shrinking rapidly. And a number of elephants are also decreasing in Assam. So how to put a hold into it, in your views? Yeah, well, uh, I said it already. I think we need to implement the law and implement strict rules on how to handle these conflicts together with educating the, the rural people and make them winners and not losers in this uneven game. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, your valuable comments and suggestions would be very much helpful in the process of mitigate 
the human elephant conflict in Assam. Thank you once again. Yes, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. I hope things will improve to the better and we learn from this. No deforestation, no the worse climate change things than we have already and just peace and food for all. Ahimsa. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, keep watching, do like, share and comment and please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again. Thank you very much.